Uh, at some point, I'm probably going to put, like, some posters and stuff up there, probably, but... Oh, my nice Fox fan. So, thank you, Naomi Fox. Uh, I have some stuff to unbox. Some of it's Owl House related. Some of it's not. Uh, what are I mean? Like, I some of it's kind of already unboxed a little bit, as you can tell. But, uh, yeah, let me just get into this. And I haven't seen the new episodes yet. I want to do this now, and then, uh, hopefully the next episode will come out soon enough. But, uh, first off... Because some of it's from the Mystery Shack, some of it's from, wow, that's like really like, I can't remember where I got this. Was it from the, I think it's, is this from the Owl House too? No, this is from, okay. <laughs> this is not from the Owl House, but where this is from the Owl House, it's a Lumity pin. Which is adorable, but it also comes with a little note, which uh, I'm going to go ahead and hope this tells me where I got this from. Let me see. Uh, like what you go, oh, like what you got, take a picture and tag me. Okay, this is ra Raspy. I think I got it from Etsy. Make sure to peel the protective plastic. Yeah, there's a, yeah, raspy.shop. Yeah, so that's where I got this Lumity pen from, pen from which... Also comes with an Amity sticker. <laughs> but, let's see, is there anything else in this little, no. All right, cool. There's that. This is an Owl House, but I did get this from the Mystery Shack. Uh, cause I, I needed to, uh, I needed to, I need, I needed a new bag. Horizon Zero Dawn, it's a Horizon Zero Dawn bag. Nothing to do with it. <laughs> Oh shit, I just, well, I just broke this already. Great. Uh, don't, alright, well, <laughs> there's beads on the back. Don't pull on that. This is, the, this is just the bag that I got for it, but it comes, but I also got some Owl House stuff with it, so this isn't the only thing that came with. God, I already messed this up. That's just fun. I'm gonna take those beads off. But, uh, it's a cool little computer bag. I need a new bag, so I got this. But in any case, I know it's cool too. It looks worn and it looks like it's from the game. But it is more of an outhouse thing, so let's keep going with that. Uh, this I can't remember if it is out. Actually, let me look into something I kind of already know. I think I kind of already know. Actually, I'm missing something. But I'll, open that. I'll show that another time then. Let's see. Is this. <laughs> I keep saying, oh yeah, outhouse! Outhouse stuff! <laughs> It kind of kind of matches what I'm planning to name this video. Uh, <laughs> it's Twig from Hilda, <laughs> which it does have. Hilda does have witches in it and familiars. Uh, I also this saw it all. I got this from the Mystery Shack. Uh, this isn't made by them, but I I would do recommend if uh, to try to get these if you want if you want anything Hilda related because I guess. Whoever was making this stuff lost the license or didn't renew the license. So, yeah, no more Hilda stuff. But, there, I'll put Twig right there. You can't, you can barely see him. But, yeah, so, <laughs> there's that. Is this, oh, wait, I think this is, this, this is also something else I got from this show. I think most of the rest of the stuff is from the Mystery Chat. I mean, one thing isn't. This is, Otter with a Dark Side Loose Pin. And, the Golden Guard. <laughs> Let's see. The Owl House Golden Guard Chain Enamel Pin. Yeah. Both of these I bought from the Owl House. I don't... They're not... They're made by P. Good Factories. This one is. This one is made by... Can't remember. Yeah, it doesn't show. But, uh... A few more a few more Mystery Shack things. Again, Mystery Shack is where I get most of my, like, Owl House stuff because it's just that good. Which, this is cool because... Also, I can't wait till they come out with the mask, which should be coming soon. You have the golden mask, you see Hunter's hair and all that, and then his uh, Magitek staff. There's also, like, I'm sure that's, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if that's Chinese or just gold, I think that's just, like, I think that's, like, some kind of Cantonese, I believe. But, uh, yeah, that's freaking cool. And it's also heavy, too. Like, it actually has a good weight, it has those little things in the back, but it's, it's a... It's a heavy pin. It really is. And then you have this adorable lose. <laughs> I'm not hotter. Um, is this... What is this? Oh, no, this was the hunter. Okay. I can't remember if this is... 
old posters or new posters? Uh, I think this might be posters I got a while ago, but just from the, I don't know if there's an unboxing video of me unboxing these. Whoopsie! Uh, <laughs> some of these I forget or roll into each other. This one is this. At least these bits are the. Is it upside down? It is upside down. The cov, the different coven uh brand stickers. Uh, again, mystery shack. Uh, you get the these are these are uh water tattoos. I mean, so you put stick it on, and you know you can have like a little tattoo like uh, Gwendolyn or uh or uh, Hunter. I don't I don't if I remember correctly, these do not have yeah no oh wait no these have yeah these are all the tracks, but except for the Emperor's Coven, that was the one track that is not on here. Also, the Oracle Coven sideways. But yeah, so let's see here. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, uh, I'm going to inject this actually into this, like, right after I showed off those uh, things. So there's other stuff, but uh, some things I had a box after. So, uh, these posters, because I don't believe I've shown all of them. There's the Golden Guard poster, Join the Emperor's Coven, uh, from, I think, episode one of season two. There's that. Let me see here. Because I completely forgot. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I haven't opened any of these. Or if I did, I uh, never... Uh... Okay, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I showed that one. <laughs> Bill Cipher. You have the very first Owl House poster, which, hell yeah. And these are from the Mystery Shack also. Uh, let me see here. Oh. Come on. Come on out. Is there anything else in there? Yes, there is. <laughs> There's... The Lilith joined the Emperor's Coven before, you know, she never really had to use that sword, did she? Emperor's Coven. Uh, so we have both Golden Guard and Lilith. Let's see. Yeah, join the Emperor's Coven today. And let me see here. And then, of course, come on! Come on! Oh my god, you're going to be stuck down there, aren't you? I don't want to pull too hard, because I don't want it to rip. Uh, I think it's ripping. Shit. Yeah, it ripped a little. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I should have just popped out the other edge. Oh, well, it's, it's okay. It's just a little bit on the edge. It means it's weathered. Ta-da! <laughs> Wanted for a million billion snails. The owl lady. And king. And Albert. <laughs> but yeah. Mr. Shag is awesome. And continuation of everything I was going on. Uh, see, now here's the here comes the thing. One of these, I'm pretty sure is not... Yeah, this is from Hanimations, which is also going to be the reason for the title of this episode. Which, I guess that kind of matches a little bit, too. But, assuming this is the right one, I have other Owl House stuff I need to unbox. I just don't have it with me right now. Yeah, this is it. Have looks good so far off camera. Oop. Albert, <laughs> yeah, Albert, we yeah, got Albert from uh, was it Hannah Anima Animations? Animations, yep. Which they they made an adorable little Albert plushie. Which cool thing is also you kind of see the where his foot stabs into or connects to the. Staff. We got the Albert plushie, which is great because I also got the head piece from the Mystery Shack. But that's not the only palisman I have. This guy. I also have. Ha ha! Little Rascal! <laughs> or Flapjack. Which. Which this was something that, uh. The. Uh, Mr. Shack has been taught. Like, they were thinking about doing for a while. I suggested a while ago that, like, you know, especially I, it was after I came back from Disneyland. I suggested, hey, wouldn't it be cool if, uh, hold on a second. Because, like, in Disneyland, they have these little po pogs or porgs that, uh, you put on, you can put to your shoulder and with, like, a magnet you put underneath. And this is made by the Mystery Shack. Uh, that, uh, that way, like, the pork could sit on your hat or sit on your shoulder. 
Uh, I said, wouldn't that be cool if you did that? They said, oh, maybe, he, uh, they said, well, maybe like claws or whatever, like attached to it. But I'm happy they went with the magnet. <laughs> also, I do like, I should mention too about the little, uh, butt, like magnet thing, like match it up. It, you, you, you don't really notice it. Like you kind of do, if, but, uh, you know, even you just have them sitting there. It look that bad. I don't know if they took it for my advice or not. I, 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 hope, I would say that hopefully they did. But yeah, they they added the magnet to it, so now you get to have your little rascal on your shoulder. Cannot do that with Albert or Twig, but oh shit, <laughs> he was staying for a second. But yeah, unboxing palace. <laughs> and the cool thing is, like one, like because again, I, I, these are cool. I, I like these pins. I do love stuffed animals, though. This is soft. The eyes are are. Uh, not sewn in. I can't remember. Embroidered in, I guess. I don't know. I like the coloring of the Oliver stuff like that. And even the Rascal is very similar. If anything, I wonder if they helped. I think. I can't remember if he got help with this one, too. But honestly, the quality of both these are really good. The quality of this one's really good being from Animation. And this one's really good, especially from the Owl House. Or Owl House. The Mystery Shack. Um, there's like one little loose string, but that's, you know, that's a little thing. Uh, little red cardinal. You have your, uh, the eye bit that's embroidered in, I believe. And they, including is what this is called, embroidered eyes. And you do feel like a little bit of the magnet in the butt. My only thing with this, at least the, this thing is like, you can feel how heavy this damn magnet is. But like, it's like a little, uh, it's like, it just kind of flops around. Which, it's not bad that I did that. Like, I probably would have preferred it maybe, like, a little more stitch in or just, like, hell, just, like, that a little bit. But it works, as uh, you can probably just see. <laughs> and he's not going anywhere. So, oh, does he have a little... Uh, no. We get with that, we don't even know, see where his whole little feet thing is. But, yeah, and then let me see here. Let me grab a twig real quick. Yeah, so mostly it's from the Mystery Shack. Everything else is from the, uh, what is it, Animations. Uh, uh, ra raspity. Raspity. And, uh, yeah, these are all cute. <laughs> these are all cute and adorable. At some point I should get, like, a pin thing to, like, put all my pins on. But, uh, these are all cute and adorable, and I love them. But, thanks for watching. For your videos, this is Unboxing Palismans, at least what I'm going to call this episode, even though I only unboxed two palismans. Technically three. I'll count, I'll count Twig as three. But, thanks for watching. For your videos, hopefully you enjoy this, and hopefully I'll be able to get some stuff set up here. But, thanks for watching, and we will. See you later. Also, I'm excited to watch the next episode of The Owl House.